the scriptures then say, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. We are saved by the grace of God through faith in Jesus Christ. It is all about who Jesus is and what he has done. Part of our repentance is to turn from believing that there is anything we can do to save ourselves. For everything was accomplished by Jesus Christ. The thought that someone else has paid for our crimes is strange to most of us because it defies our natural way of thinking. And the idea that we need to trust in another person's sacrifice on our behalf is even more foreign. But understand that while it is strange to us, it is consistent with God's actions throughout the scriptures. We get a picture of this when we read the book of Exodus. In this story, Moses warned Parao repeatedly about what God would do if we did not repent. It climaxed when God said he would bring death to the firstborn of every household if they did not repent. Meanwhile, he told his people that if they put the blood of a lamb over their doorposts, his angel would pass over their homes and not kill the firstborn of that house. So even in the story of the Exodus, we see that people had to trust in the blood of a lamb to save them and this was the only way they could be saved. Read Ephesians chapter 2 carefully and take some time to consider the truth it presents. Do you trust in the death of Christ for your salvation? Do you ever struggle with believing you need to do something to save yourself? 